Hi, today I'm talking to you from my closet. Um, lots of you had requested a video on my wardrobe and what I wear and it's just quite a big week ahead. I've got a lot of filming um, for TV, I've got some uh, brand work in uh, one of my favourite stores and I just thought I would talk you through how I normally put my work slash media look together, um, what brands I like, what silhouette I like, um, and show you some of my favourite things. So for work um, or media events, I tend to favour solid colours in a clean shape without too much volume. I always like a neat shoulder, I like the waist defined, um, and I like a skirt that doesn't overrun my knee, so sort of just to the knee or just above, and I find that's the most flattering. So the designer I'm gravitating towards the most at the minute is um, a brand called Vanessa Seward. Um, and you may have seen me wearing her pieces on camera recently. So this is pretty classic Vanessa. She used to design for Azaro. Um, so it's sort of, I think, kind of chic ladies wear with a little touch of 70s in some of her pieces, but always glam, a little bit polished, um, refined lady. So this is a beautiful silk. It's a really good, bright, strong color um, without being too glaring. Um, and just nice detailing, beautiful buttons. Um, I like a sleeve that just kind of, you know, grazes the, the lower part of the arm and sort of reveals a little bit of your wrist. So if you're wearing a nice watch, you can see it. The length is good for me. And then I wear that with a simple court um, and I feel pulled together. It's not too busy, it's not too prissy. Um, but yeah, just a really effortless, elegant look. Um, and I liked it so much, I have the same style of dress in several different colours. So this was the original one I got when she collaborated with APC. And this is just such a beautiful shade of red. It's like a, a really soft red, it's not too hard. It doesn't make my complexion look redder when I wear it. Um, so this is one of my favourite pieces and I think it's probably one of my most worn um, dresses in recent times. Um, I might have bought another one in red. <laughs> um, and this has just got a really cute white motif. It almost looks like it's got hearts all over it. For TV, I like everything to be really slender in silhouette and I like it to be plain. So my go-to brand tends to be Roland Murray or Victoria Beckham, probably more so Roland Murray at the moment. Um, just because he does this beautiful crepe, which is nice and flat, not too shiny, which means it doesn't pick up weirdly on camera and just good colors in nice shapes, which aren't too revealing, but, you know, keep everything neat. Um, and I think this color is great um, on camera and it's good against my skin, um, but just fits like a glove. Um, so easy to style up, very simple jewelry, a good shoe, and you're ready. Um, and I have it in a similar style in navy, just with a deeper V. Um, Navy is just such a versatile colour and it's kinder to the skin than black or grey, I find. And then um, this one um, in like a teal green with this nice detailing here, which again is nice to have a little interest on camera but isn't too distracting. Um, I think I wore the pink one on this morning last year. Um, and yeah, I just think it's, it's pretty but the, it's like a fairly strong pink so it doesn't look too girly and still quite professional. Otherwise, I tend to go for a pencil skirt with um, a silk blouse. I find that feminine, um, it's classic, and then again, worn with a high-heeled court shoe. Just a really good look for the office. It's kind of like the quintessential female dermatologist look, if you will. Um, you just don't tend to find me in trousers at the office. I probably will invest in a jumpsuit for the office this year, I think. I'm feeling like it's time for a little bit of a change, but usually you'll find me in a silk blouse, often with like a bit of a, a bow of sorts, and I do love the row um, for their blouses. Silk blouses are so gorgeous from the row. Um, extortionate, but they're so classic, they're timeless. Um, I wear them time and time again. Um, and then I like a kind of what I call um, cosmetic colors or maquillage shades. And this is a blouse from Caravan I bought a couple of years ago that I really love. Again, it's just flattering. It's like wearing blusher. Um, really, I think, enhances your skin. Um, and again, it's pretty good on camera. So again, with a nice, simple pencil, probably navy, um, and a good shoe. Um, Skirts-wise, as I say, I only ever really wear like a pencil silhouette. And this is a beautiful one from Roland Murray in a really strong green, which might look a little bit 
too much, but when worn with a very simple, pale, um, elegant blouse like this one from The Row, it just kind of looks a bit more chic whenever you take the tone down a little bit with um, a pale coloured blouse. And with a nude stiletto, I feel good. And the same probably for this Dolce pencil. Again, could be a little bit cougar <laughs> for a day, but I think with a really chic ladylike pussycat bow blouse um, becomes elegant. And I think if you don't overdo the accessories, you can get away with a little bit of uh, meow um, cat print for daytime. Um, what else? Yeah, I think that's pretty much it. So pencil silhouette, beautiful fabrics. If it's a print, it's a subtle one. Um, but in general, I steer away from anything that's too loud, too much volume. I'm quite petite and I like to dress accordingly. So a nice, clean, narrow shoulder, defined waist, just the right sort of length to the knee, good court shoe, simple jewellery, and that's it. I'm ready to go. I hope you enjoyed that. Um, let me know if you'd like me to do more on my wardrobe, if you'd like me to go into my shoes or my bags. Um, I'd love to share it with you. Hope you enjoy. Bye for now.